we begin tonight's story with the events on the opposite side of the bay, after the havoc that has swept across the world. The Angel of Death has emerged. There had been an abnormally high amount of fatalities within the last several months. I went to a newly made grave in the woods and saw a man who hadn't been there before. I couldn't help but wonder what he could have been doing here, so the angel offered up his soul. I watched him from the bay. I grew quite interested as he picked up the poor guy and began to sink, as if he were some kind of star. Finally, he laid him gently on the ground and he was gone. I waited there for what seemed like hours for my brother to come and out and see what the fuss was about, and I knew the look on his face would have pleased me, but it never came. What could I have done to make him so upset? So much that he wouldn't come out and see it for himself. Maybe he was hurt or something? I didn't know what to do. I had no idea how to leave him alone. The date was over, and I was waiting for him to come back and for him to show himself, but he never did. He never did show himself to me. I don't remember seeing him the rest of the day. Weeks went by and he never came to me. When he did return, he was just as he had been before. Same clothes, same hair, same face, same nothingness. I cried the day that he took a life, and then he was gone for another month or two. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared that I couldn't leave him alone. I told myself just to tell him I was sorry, but I knew he wouldn't hear it. So I was left with silence and fear. I would go outside, but he would be there, sitting there, just sitting, all alone in the cemetery. Weeks and months went by, and every day I was scared. I'm wondering if he's gone forever, I'm wondering if he's waiting for me to come back. So many months, he had woken up and left, I had told him I was sorry. He was gone for days, weeks even, but he returned, and everything was normal. The next thing I know, he's back, and he wants to know if I'm okay? He wanted to know if I had tried to talk to him, if I could hear his music or something. I was all right. I'd be lying if I said that didn't make me feel better. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't left wondering why he wouldn't be upset. After I was gone for a few days, he'd left. Again. I'd been waiting, thinking he was going to show back up, but when he didn't, I knew he wasn't coming back. About a month later, I received a letter in the mail from him. I had completely forgotten that I had written him a letter. It had gotten buried under everything else. It was not strange. I think he wants me dead. I think he's trying to hurt me. Why won't he leave me alone? What is this he wants from me? I just wanted to know why he was so adamant about killing me, but I felt like there was something that was better left alone. The more I tried to confront him, the more I started to dread the next time that he would bring me back to life. I began to accept it. To live with it. I had made a lot of new friends in this place. I had made a family who loved me. He was starting to scare me, and I think he knew it. When he came back, he was different than before. It, it didn't seem to be hate or disgust or anything like that. It seemed to be something that made him feel joy. Something that made him happy. It came and went, coming and going, but it was always there, just below the surface, buried deep. I remember how I had thought that he didn't like me anymore, but he had done something that opened up a path for me to move forward. If I could do anything for him, to show him that I was sorry, to make him happy, but he wants to kill everyone, and I can't let them get hurt. This podcast is sponsored by Top Dresser Socks. This site makes socks from nothing more than recycled socks and yarn. One of the coolest things about this site is that they produce their socks in the USA and they really are a bargain at $10 for three pairs or two pairs if you get the matching set. This podcast is sponsored by the Nitu Web Browser. At Internet2.com, this is a highly specialized browser that lets you stay anonymous and connect to whatever you want so far.